Errantville. Yeah! Well, I gotta give this game credit. It's got a lot of style. It's very much still yeah! the game that it was. Uh, or the game that it was. It very much is, like, inspired by and... I'd almost say, like, uh, maybe a little bit shackled by the... Hello. Oh god, the face is upside down, weirdly. <laughs> oh, thank you, Miriam. You know who I am. And that means... I'm sorry we couldn't get here sooner, Dominique. So this is our contact. Yes, the church sent me. Has an exorcist. What? Then we're lucky to have you, Dominique. Dang it, the dialogue actually goes past uh, the text sometimes here. I I think the translation on this is a little, little clunky. Hopefully they fix it. It's not a big deal, but for me, I I just re wait until they, they read it all out. And then I press A, and then they're like, Psych, we had more to say. And it's like, ah! And the church you, Miriam. Thank you for guiding her here, Johannes. You wouldn't have asked if it wasn't important, but you should tell us why you need her. Miriam isn't one to shy away from danger, but she deserves to be armed with all the facts. Yes, very well. I told you when I contacted you that the Shadbinder Jebel is responsible for summoning the castle. Yes, there's no mistake about that. He admitted as much. What? You spoke to him? Then let me get right to the point. I find it curious that the outpouring of demons facilitated by one Shardbinder just happens to coincide with the sudden awakening of the other Shardbinder after exactly ten years. You're right. It is strange. But the Church doesn't get to drag Miriam into this just because the timing is odd. Oh, do you decide for her then? I asked you to bring her here so she could see the horrors that have befallen the village and make an informed choice. I have no intention of forcing you, Miriam. You don't have to. I gave Jeebel my word that I would stop him. What happened here only strengthens my resolve. Thank you, Miriam. I am sorry to put it on your shoulders. Um, pardon me? Oh, hello there. Are you alright? We didn't mean to ignore you. I'm alright, thank you. You are quite welcome. Do you have a name? Anne. What a lovely name! Anne, you shouldn't be out here. Let me take you somewhere safe. Oh, alright. Come on, this way. Wow, Dominic's run cycle looks so awkward. Like, the main character's run cycle looks fine, but Dominic runs like somebody that has pooped himself and also has no joints. I did some looking around before, and this place seems secure. Yes, agreed. Oh, sorry, not Dominic, Johannes. Johannes? Oh, you, bleh. Anne, and I will remain here. We can assist Miriam from safe ground. What? We can't ask her to brave the castle alone? Don't be foolish. She is trained in combat. Are you? We would only get in the way. But that's not the point. I'll be fine, Johannes. Please don't worry. <sighs> All right. But we'll be here if you need us. Let's not waste any time. We have a lot to do. Come back if you need anything. I'll get a workshop running so I can perform alchemy for you. Thank you, Johannes. I know you're strong, but be careful. <laughs> I will. So, there's something kind of creepy about the Anne girl, and I think I know what it is. 
she's proportioned like an adult, but shrank down to be a child. And it's very strange. Well, I ain't opening that anytime soon. What's all th all the tur uh, tattoos on Miriam? It's supposed to be crystal shards, but they really just textured it down on her because, eh. Miriam, welcome. Since this is your first time here, let me tell you a little bit about the supply post. Uh, please. I have made arrangements so you can buy and sell items here. I would have liked to provide what you need for free, but seeing as we are largely cut off from the church's funds out here, I will need money in order to keep the supply post stocked. I hope you don't mind paying. No, I understand. I appreciate you doing what you can. I can also buy shards from you if you no longer need them. Wait, is trade in demon shards even allowed? Of course. The church would sooner gather them up and make certain they are purified. I am not permitted to sell them, but I can buy them off you. You may want to keep extras, since possessing multiple shards of the same type amplifies its power, but there is a limit to how far that can go. And more importantly, if you carry a large number of shards, your body's corruption may accelerate. But I'll find a way to deal with that myself. I still recommend selling your shards as a means of making money. All right. I know you're looking out for me. I think that explains everything. Now, would you like to have a look around? Okay, so we can what sell some shards. To sell? I'm going to get rid of Cerulean Splash because I don't like it. Is this right? Then we have a deal. Not sure if this increases the grade. Okay. What well, what can buy? I buy? Uh, I can buy potatoes, ether, mithridite. Oh, poison. Okay. Substance that poisons you and drains health over a period of time. Why would I buy that? What? Eh. Waystone. Takes you wherever you picture. Huh. Okay, let's buy like two. Man, this is really sensitive. Is this right, Lenny? Thanks. Two of those. And there's a lot of cooking related stuff that I probably don't care about too much. Ah. Huh. 8 Bitcoin, 16 Bitcoin, 32 Bitcoin. I wonder if that actually reskins the game or something. Probably does, actually. Oh, shoot. She'll also buy, uh. She'll also sell weapons here. Well, I've been using the Claymore. See, it doesn't look like any of these have anything terribly immediately fancy. I feel like I should buy a really good weapon. Something with range usually seems like a good idea. Otherwise, I could go for the uh, flamberge, the extra range. I think that's how it's pronounced. I could be wrong. Uh, let's see. Could get a Morgan Cern. Those are rapier, lethal boots. What are you looking to sell? So what else can we sell? I'm assuming most of this is not actually that helpful. Sell the regular scarf. Is this rock? Then we have a deal. Is this when we have a tunic? Deal. Is this rock? Can I help you with something else? Maybe not the hairband. Uh, I should double check that. I thought I equipped that. Oh, probably when I got wrecked. That's when we lost it. What are you looking to sell? What else could I sell? Because I've been using what the. What are you looking to buy? Fireball. I mean, honestly, we're probably going to make a lot more money just running around. So why don't we get it, just grab us a, uh, EP? Is Let's grab the right? EP for the time being. And, right, I should buy at least one potato. 
I would have liked to buy more potatoes, but oh, I, I I forgot to give this to you. It's the key to the building. You can use it to explore further in. Thank you. I invited the other survivors inside where it's safe. They all have troubles that need resolving. If you can spare them the time, I'll do what I can. I know you will. Come back any time. I'll be praying for you. So there are still demons outside. Oh, they're so scary. Well, she does not have troubles. What is this? Dominique, what is all this machinery? That is photographic equipment we've been working on. Photographic? To put it more plainly, it allows me to capture images of real life, landscapes, people. What? Really? Uh, can I try it? Unfortunately, I don't have the silver bromide I need. I'll see if I can find it. Be right back. Okay, so I guess I never put on my headband. Yeah. That's nice. I like the fact that equipment does show on the character. Uh, let's see. So we have everything else? Unfortunately, it doesn't look like the armor will show up. But at least accessories are the, the headband and the scarf will. Okay, so what else can we look at? Ah, uh, here she is. You have to marvel at the church's resources. Look at what they've provided for us. I know. It's incredible. So, what I can do for you here in the workshop is take materials you bring me and transmute them into new items. But the alchemy is easier to show you than explain. Here, I have some materials we can use. So let's try transmuting them. What are we transmuting this time? Okay, so I can enhance shards. Uh, so we can get thrashing tentacle. Oh, right. The number of projectiles casted at once increases coverage. Number of projectiles casted at once. Okay, so that's how that works. Uh, we can prepare foods. So it looks like extra max HP, extra int. Oh. Unfortunately, it seems like I'm generally lacking everything. But that's meaningless. Uh, let's see. Well, I lack all cooking ingredients, so that's useless. Oh! So I can just craft potions. Uh, let's see. And I could actually craft... <laughs> I could craft a pirate hat! Oh! And it looks like a, it has some kind of elemental bonus. Or resistance bonus. make quite a fair bit. Wow. Some of these, oh, require the 8-bit coin. What the? Encrypted Orchid. Good strength in times of need. They don't actually look that amazingly powerful. It's probably the extra effects and whatnot. To make them really good. We might also be able to upgrade them. But yeah, so we need the 8-bit coins to pick these up and hoof. I almost wonder if these are actually Kickstarter things. Ambivalence. We have a lot of... A lot of stuff I'm not going to be able to make. Well, do we want to make the Nodachi? Mm. Make the Nodachi. Make the... I'll go with this. Let's make that. And yeah, I'll make the Nodachi. Wouldn't mind making the spear, too. I'll Hopefully we this. get a fair amount of these resources just running around. There. All done. Yeah, the Bitcoins are unique weapons that have really cool special effects. Yeah. Okay. And I'll I will make a this. spear. I don't know if spears are actually any good, but it's worth experimenting with all the same. Uh, let's see. I want to go back and take a look at them one more time. So do they all just require 8 bit coins? Yeah, they do. So something else requires the, the higher bit stuff later. Oh, we can dismantle things that we don't need.
Well, that's kind of cool. Uh... Huh. Oh, it's because we don't have any Elkahest. Well, that's probably fine. I'm also going to make at least one more potato while we're here. We'll probably get more Ooh. of these. Once I've like transmuted it. an item, I'll pass it on to Dominique so she can carry it at the supply post for you. Oh. I'll do my best to inform you of what items you can make from what materials. But when it comes to items I don't know about, you'll have to find a formula for me and bring it here. I understand. Also, the demon crystal you've obtained, the shards, those can be transmuted the same way as items. Each shard requires specific materials, but it's worth it to make your shards more useful. Try it when you get the chance. I think I will. Also, neither one of us has been eating well. No wonder, considering the struggle we've been through to survive. If you bring me the ingredients, I can use alchemy to prepare meals for us. With proper nutrition and a varied diet, you have the potential to get much stronger. Eating a new food for the first time will provide Miriam with a stat boost. Oh! Holy shit, actually. That's really cool. Are you eating properly? So, what'll it be? Uh, let's see. Let's enhance a shard. Gale crawler? I'll go with this. We'll enhance both of these. Yeah, I'll so, go with this. I've actually been kind of wanting this, uh... I'll go with this. In a game. How many times I'll can I enhance this. this? Oh, I see. It gets more complicated as you go along. Uh... Johannes. Can you tell me more about what happened ten years ago? It started when the interests of the rich shifted away from the spiritual and esoteric in favor of more material investments. The alchemists' research was expensive. The guild members didn't want to lose their wealthy patrons. So they warned again and again that demons would come if people let go of their spirituality. But people don't change that easily. So the alchemists took a more drastic measure. You mean us? The Shardbinders? Yes. It shames me that I was even connected to what they did. But at least you have the facts of it. It's all right. Thank you for telling me. But yeah, I really dig the, the fact that... Um... That by making food for the first time, you actually get a permanent stat boost. I've been playing a game recently called Zanky Zero. Fun game. But a little repetitive and had a lot of mechanics that like straight up, I'm going to say didn't, that don't belong? Or like don't even make sense? Oh. Oh. That's extra bullet capacity. Nice. Hi. Oh, it's a teleportation room. That's awesome. Let's see. But, uh... But, so, like, playing Zanky Zero, it's, like, a really fun game. But, like, half the mechanics straight up just, like, don't help in any way, shape, or form. They're just there. So there's, like, a massive amount of food you can cook. And you almost never actually need to care. And it's very strange. Yeah! Let's see. And, like, if it was one of those that eating a food for the first time in that game came with a stat boost, a la, you know, Bloodstained Ritual of the Night, I think it actually would have worked out really well. And now I'm a little bit, like, bothered that it isn't a thing. I think we're gonna... I'm gonna go back in for a second. Oh, hi. Who are you? You there. It was awful. Those monsters came out of nowhere. We ran for dear life. Where are the others? Dead, most of them. My dear husband included. <sighs> Those devils have to pay. Those murderers. You look strong, miss. I'm begging you. Help me. If it's within my power. Oh, thank you. My name's Lindsay. What's yours? Miriam. Well, Miriam, I'll gather whatever information I can about the monsters that wronged us. 
I want you to hunt down the monsters and take vengeance on them. The efforts won't go unrewarded, I promise you that. All right. I'll do it. Here's what I've turned up on the monsters. Help my husband rest in peace. Kill that murderer dead. Can I do the Have other one as well? Anything? Here's what I've turned up on them. Help Julius the Chandler rest in peace. Kill those murderers. Okay, so she's got a hate on for demons, but we get benefits for doing so. So I guess we're doing so. Yep. Knew there was going to be a save catch in here. I was like. It's actually been a while since we last uh, saved, and that's a little concerning. So let me check this. Thrashing Tentacle. Vapor! Hi! <laughs> it's a little expensive. But if I want to, like, destroy something, there we go. Save couch. Yeah! Okay, I'm going to go tentacle something to death. Vapor! Ew! Okay, so there's the answer. It just destroys everything on screen. Do you prefer a demon? So the, ten the tentacle blast is very powerful, very mana intensive. Alright, let's, uh, let's try something else. So we've been using the EP. Let's try... Try the big axe. Looks like it behaves just like the claymore. Okay, hang out on top of that. Aha! Yeah! What the? Yeah! Just pass through me. Stupid cheesy enemies. Yeah! But yeah, 80 MP for the tentacles is a little bit on the pricey side. Oh, hi. Why? I I don't Oh, hi. Prize gift. Hurl your equipped weapon weapons at enemies. Base Lord, Mangosh, Arnwanan. Okay. I'll have to pay more attention to bookshelves. I wonder if I missed one back on the boat. Well, we can go back and double check at a later date. Well, we did just get a base lard, didn't we? Eh. Okay, yeah, so I can just huck my dagger at things. It's pretty expensive, but might be worth it. I'm going down. Maybe I shouldn't have. But it seems like I was going to be locking this pathway off anyway. Let's do this first. So, yeah, there are moves for specific weapons. Yep. Which I think is really cool. Because that actually gives you a reason to use them apart from just the basic attack. Wow. I stabbed him in the face. Oh. Gonna keep going? What? Oh. That wasn't much of anything. Ah! Ah! Give me your tomato. Why would anyone make a drawbridge with the lever go outside the gate? Yeah, I'm not actually sure about that. Also, I love this 2.5D. 2 the, the rotation. Admittedly, it makes the skybox look kind of atrocious, but the rest of it looks pretty good. Entrance. Oh, sweet. And those are probably Patreon backers. 
There we go. Sky bats. Hopefully there's some kind of healing ability I can get at a later date. Probably not, though. Wow, those are... Some of these portraits are a lot better than others. Dang. That was a big demon. Didn't last long. I, I'm just going to use cheese tactics. Well, that didn't work. Okay, I'm honestly... Okay, it seems to just follow me. Oh, did I get it? I did! Okay, so you can kill the uh, flying fireball things. I do really like these portraits, though. I like it how somebody just paid to have one of their cats included. If they make another Kickstarter, I'll probably fund it. I'll probably... Uh, maybe? I don't know. I feel like I should probably invest in, like, one or two Kickstarters that seem cool. Someday. Just because. I. Well, this is gruesome. So there is an area down there. If we wanted to go check that out. Well, I would like to find the safe room, though. This comfy couch business would be nice. I'm assuming that's bone, bone shucking. Bone toss! Throw a bone in the designated direction. Oh, you good. Oh, is this the alchemist from the previous game? Oh. Maybe not. Miriam? Oh, it, it is. Can't be. Alfred? Why are you here? Johannes, that fool of an apprentice should have stayed out of this. You have a lot to explain for. After all the terrible things you've done? All that is in the past. I'll not be defending my actions to you. Don't I deserve it? You were like a father to me. Well, enough, child. I am here for the book. Jeebel has the book. What are you talking about? If you don't already know, then let us keep it that way. <sighs> Alfred, how are you still alive? Ugh, what were you thinking in coming here? You can answer my question first. All that matters is that I am alive. Did you come here for the book? What is with the syncopation of his speech? Did you come here for the book? It's so weird. Book? The Liber Logiath? Make no mistake. I won't let anyone touch that tome but me. Not even you should touch it. Didn't what happened ten years ago teach you anything? I don't have time to argue with you. I just hope you are wise enough not to get in my way. Uh, what? You know full well my power exceeds yours. Take Miriam and leave this place. Otherwise, you will die. I came here because something didn't feel right. But I didn't expect him. Johannes, what is the Liebe Logiath? It's... It's a book the Alchemy Guild once possessed that allows for the summoning of spirits. The Guild used it to bring about the Calamity ten years ago, and the Shardbinder's Crystal acted as a kind of catalyst. A book like that shouldn't even exist. I know. Alfred must be trying to restore the Alchemy Guild to power, but we cannot let him lay hands on the Liber Logiath. He said Chibel had it. You know... I think I might have seen it. It makes sense, considering the situation we're in. He must have gotten his hands on it after surviving the sacrifice. So now I have to stop Alfred, too. 
No. Let's focus on Jeebel. If we can get to him and the book before Alfred does, we'll kill two birds with one stone. Good point. All right. Dominique might know what to do about Alfred in the meantime. I'll head back to the village and see what she has to say. Looking for a couch. Oh, hey, my mana came back during that. Also, what was that? Something just exited the universe at high speeds. Okay, we are dying. There's that there. Okay, so the base lard's not really that amazing. Uh, try the new dachi. Interesting. Yeah, we need double jump to get over there and over there. At least those guys are pushovers. <laughs> I just magic them away. Problem solved. Okay, can't do anything with any of these. Uh, back we go. Uh, hopefully there's at least some kind of like... Hmm. Ow. Freaking bats will be the death of me. Where's my ball chicken? Whoa. Okay, let me check that. Archives, techniques. Katana, forward, forward, and X. What does it do? 11th hour, deflects physical attacks. Ah, got it. So I can, I can potentially learn all of the, uh, all of the techniques in the game, uh, beforehand and carry them over. So if I wanted to look them up, I could actually use, like, all the weapon abilities whenever I wanted. It's just a matter of when. Oh, hi. Should probably hit this. Well, it's attempting to create my homunculus. I discovered a strange formation of white crystal growing on the subject. What is it? A sign? At long last that my studies are progressing? I must observe it diligently and learn all I can. The crystal I discovered appears to be multiplying slowly. Its corruption spreads through the cadaver I chose as a subject. It is a marvelous substance, neither entirely a liquid nor a solid. As soon as I have enough, I shall begin experiments to discover its other properties. Ah, couch. Couch. Beautiful couch. Helping couch. Save me from death. I'm very vulnerable. Okay. Hmm. Okay, well... No, doesn't look like there's any interesting spear techniques that I can find out about yet. Uh, let's see. Honestly, I'm going to switch back to the EP. It seems like it's got the range I'm looking for and a reasonable amount of damage. So I can stab those to death. Okay. Demon homeboy has got a chain sword. Oh, indeed. <laughs> okay. So I can't kill those things. Yeah, perfect. Okay. D I. Cripes. Spin towards enemies and transfer the momentum to your blade. Uh, Pelekis. British 
Ukan Vasara. I don't even know what weapons those are. I don't think I have them. We'll leave that for much later. How are the chests appearing on the minimap? Uh, because I kind of spotted them, question mark? It's only if you actually see them, though. Okay. Oh. I'm not n nearly as dire of straits as I was earlier. Yeah. So we kind of spotted that there's a chest up there. Quote unquote. Okay, let's actually fight this guy. Eh. Probably better to just, like, cheese magic through them. I'm not sure when we got the key for that. Maybe it was up above. Garden of Silence. Well, oh, didn't actually kill it. Ah! I wasn't the Pelicus of the Axe thing of yours, maybe? Oh, it's a, it's a flying pig. And it exploded. Well, okay, what's the Pelicus? Oh yeah, it is. Okay. Oh. Oh. I guess they had like a little bit of iframes. Ah. Oh. Well, that looks fairly mighty. I'm just not sure if I'm going to be using it that much, considering how freaking expensive it is. What the? Fancy a ride, milady? Why? Are you offering one? <laughs> I could take you someplace most interesting. The rub, of course, is that obstacle standing squarely in our path. See? I doubt I would be able to push it aside. A shame you don't have a giant hand. Ah, the wild and crazy things one could do with a giant hand. That guy really wants a big hand. I don't really want to know what his wild and crazy ideas are. Warhorse's key is required. Dang it. Well, it seems like the pigs are almost, like, laughable. <laughs> ah! Maybe not! The pigs seem to have at least some kind of defensive mechanism. Obsidian equipment are. Stay away from you. Ow. Oh, uh. I'm going to operate under the assumption that going this direction is a bad idea. Iron Maidens usually are a sign of don't go this way. It's it's dangerous. Okay, there's something there. That looks like a mana up. Voice acting for that big dude is beautiful. On one hand, it's like real, real tech. What? Uh, hi. On one hand, it's kind of tacky. On the other hand, it, it's so fun to listen to. Okay, cool. I can make it over the dude. I don't know. I... 
I am liking the voice acting in this game. The alchemist Alfred guy definitely was not as cool. Yeah! But like, oh, we got a Morgenstern from that. Neat. Uh, but it, it does sound like whoever they got to do all the voice acting for this game had fun with it. Which like is a huge criteria for me when it comes to voice acting. It's like, did they enjoy what they did? Yes? Cool. <laughs> 